Hello there, uh, welcome back. So, as usual, I started off with a nice little introduction of what we're going to be covering. So, today we're going to be implementing and taking our skills to a whole new level. A whole new level. Yep, that's right. So, we're going to be discovering how to make this. This amazing box right here, okay? You see it's got stars, four faces, empty, and this lid with the diamond cut into it as a handle. Right, right there, right there, right there. And then this lid fits perfectly onto this box. Now how are we going to do this? Let's go on ahead and proceed. All right, so right now I'm in my dashboard. You should be in here too. So this is the test file that I just showed you. This is the, that was actually the ending file. Let's go ahead and create a new design. Cool Wasa Maimu. That's a very interesting name. Let's go ahead and just name it um, Decorated Box. All right. Decorated a box. Here we go. First step. Import a box. Drop a box on the plane. Release. Hold down shift to make sure your proportions stay aligned. Drag. We're looking for about 54 millimeters. Now here's, an, uh, here's another trick if you can't seem to get it right. Just go right here. Right here to shape. Right here. Right here. Right, right here. And you see where it says length, width, just go ahead and enter in 54 into these. It'll automatically snap to the right length and width. Okay. So this is what we're going to be working with right now. This is our box. Ready? So this is go. We're going to we're going to fast gear. Okay. Right now, we're going to be using every single skill we've used so far. Every single skill, and I'm talking about every single skill. Ready? We're going to drag in a box. Now I want this box to be 50 by 50. Let's go ahead and do this. Shift, drag. 50 by 50, ready? Now I'm gonna show you another trick. Drag, oh no, it's, oh, wait, wait, wait. And then of course we need to extrude it upward a little bit so you can see it. Ready, I'm going to drag it over. Oh no, it's not aligned, what do I do? Now here's one of the cool things about Tinkercad. Highlight the entire thing. And you see this nice little align button right here? You can press L2. Click. You see these circles that just appeared? Well, we're going to press this one and this one. And ta-da! It's right in the middle. Right there, okay? This is the beauty of Tinkercad right here. So what you just did is basically you told Tinkercad to align it to the center of this side and the center of this side. So now it's all aligned. It's perfect. Now, actually, on second thought, we might want to make the hole a little bit smaller just for stability purposes. So let's go ahead and exit out. Just click anywhere to exit out. Click on this again, and let's make it a teeny bit smaller. Let's go for 46. Now you see I can't seem to get it right, so go back to here. Go ahead and click 46. 46 again. Press enter. Whoops, it didn't seem to have gone right. Six looks like my height was changed to 46. Whoa, that's weird. Hmm. We're gonna have to go ahead and do some debugging. Hmm. Odd. Well, well, this looks about right. So we're in, we're looking right now at forty-five point five. Forty-five point five. Okay, forty-five point five right here. Uh, actually, forty-six point five. Darn it. Make this 
Hmm, why is this behaving so weirdly? Well, I just deleted it. Let's go ahead and create a new object. Okay, this is looking right. Good. Let me just check. 54. Yep. 46. Okay, so we're going to move it. Uh, we're actually going to extrude it up. It doesn't matter how high you extrude it. Go ahead, just drop it anywhere. Select the entire thing. Align. Click on those middle dots. Right here and right there. Click on it. It's aligned. Good. Go ahead and select everything again and group. Now you see we have a nice empty hole. Now there's one problem with this. The box doesn't have a bottom. Let's go ahead and change this. Now in order to move something up or down, you're going to have to look for this tiny little uh, black arrow. So let's go ahead and then that moves it up off the ground. So since 54 minus 46 is equal to 8, so we're looking at 4. In order to make all the sides proportional, right? All the sides the same. Um, all the sides the same um, widths. Let's go ahead and group it all. And now you see we have a perfect box. Now let's make our lid. Let's just set this on the side of the work plane here for now. We'll go back to it later, but let's go ahead and make our lid. So drag out another box object. We want it to be the exact same dimensions, uh, length and width wise, as our box. So remember that's 54 and 54. So let's go ahead and say 54. Go back and 54. Go right there. Press enter. Nice. And let's the lid doesn't need to be that high, so we're going to extrude it down to about uh, about five is good. Now so this and then get it off the ground a little bit. So this is the top portion of our lid, but if you just put this on top of the lid, it's not going to be really useful, right? It's just going to slide off. So we need to create something that will make it not slide off. Let's go ahead and drag out another box shape. Let's make it now 45. Now you remember that the inner dimensions of the box, this box over here is 46. If you make it 45, then that means it will fit perfectly, right? Actually, let's make it around 45.5. On 45.5. So, length and width, 45.5. Now, the reason why I'm saying 45.5 and not 40, 46 exactly is because uh, if you think about it in the real world, it will get stuck, right? So, 46 and 46, it will get stuck. It's a perfect match. So, we need something a little bit less than that. Just to allow for a little bit of leeway so you can easily pull it in and out. Let's go ahead and extrude it down to even less, so about 4 millimeters. And now we're going to have to put it right up against the bottom of this. Let's go here, just kind of rough estimate, guesstimate it. And let's go ahead and select both of the objects, and let's go ahead and align it. Click align, and we are going to go like this. Watch this. Align. Align by center. Perfect. You see that? We have a nice little lid sitting right there. Click group. And our lid is finished. Now all we need is a handle. I'm going to use a diamond for this. You can use like an exclamation point, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to use a diamond. So I'm going to drag out a diamond shape. Here's our diamond shape right here. Let's move it up a bit. Let's move our diamond shape up a bit. Up we go. And let's change our view. Move it over. Get it up there so you can actually see it. And you want it to be mostly... You want it to be sunken so that the printer... that So that it won't break off. But you also want enough ex surface exposed so that you can actually uh, grab hold of it, right? So I'm just gonna maybe do right about there. That's perfect. Okay, actually I'm gonna bring it down. Whoops. I think I just changed the height of it. Okay. There. Let's go ahead and select everything else. Align. Remember to go by centers. Center. Center. Perfect. Now let's group the entire thing. Aha! There's your perfect lid. And now we're going to set that aside for now, and we're going to go right back to the box. 
Now this box is looking pretty plain, right? No decorations. Not like the stars that I showed you in the first one, right? Nothing decorations. Now I'm going to show you how to put in stars. Now you remember in the basic modules, we learned for uh, for modeling that dice or fig fig um, or f finishing that dice that we use needed to use extra work plane. So we're going to use those to advantage right now. Work plane right here. Drag or if, alter alternative, you can press W. Drag right here. We need to deposit it right here. Let go, and now you see you have another work plane. Now remember what this does, right? This is very powerful. I'm just going to use a star because that's what it was shown on the on the ending, and just drop it anywhere. Now just make the star any dimension you want. I'm just going to make it 20. Just aim for about 20, and I, no, actually make it a little bit bigger. Let's go for 30. Of course, it doesn't have to be accurate. Okay, 30.5. Move it randomly, and then select the entire thing, and we're going to use a line again to our advantage. You see how amazing a line is? Just a few, with a few clicks, you can align everything perfectly. Now, so now it's right in the center, and so how are we going to get that perfect hole through? Well, remember, we can convert this to a hole object. Click on it. Click on it. Select hole, and now it's a hole object. Ready? And now we're going to move it inside the cube, so then it'll be completely perforating the cube. Just like that. Alright, now in order to see our handiwork, we're gonna select all, select the box and the cube, and the whole object. Whoops. Yeah, you gotta be careful about that. You don't wanna select the lid behind it as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Try that again. Whoops. I need to control Z that. Select that group it all together and now what do we see we see that there is now a hole right through the box that is in the shape of a star doesn't that look nice okay now remember to get rid of this work plane because it's cluttering up the space we're going to take this work plane or plus w and drop drop it anywhere not on the actual work plane or not on any not on any shape on the work plane drop and it's gone all right so we're going to repeat this process four times are you guys ready for this? Actually, in order to make this, our lives a little bit easier, select the entire thing, select ungroup, and we're going to take this star object, control C, or press duplicate, and then control Z your actions. So then it's once again grouped together, and we're going to drag out another work plane on this side. Could press control V, or press paste, uh, sorry, paste, control V, and it didn't work very well. So now all we have to do is actually just rotate it. So here's the rotate handle right here. Right here. Let's go ahead and bring it up to 90 degrees. Right there. So now it's perfectly upright. Okay, it's looking good. Let's move it into position. Now remember the wall does have a thickness of about uh, four millimeters, so you're, uh, yeah, four millimeters. So you're gonna have to make it so that it's just poking out, so you're so you're guaranteed that it will go through the wall. Now let's just check our alignment. Highlight everything here. Whoops, I just looked at that. Highlight everything here. Whoops. There, highlight everything here, select align. Let's go ahead and align it. Center, center, perfect. Group them all together, and ta-da, you have another hole. Ooh. Let's go ahead and delete that work plane. Clear all your work planes. Make another one. Control V. And we end up with one on that side. That is not encouraging. Let's move it over. Oh, there you are. Let's rotate it. 90 degrees. This little handle again. Go until you see negative 90. There. Move it into position. Remember, you just have to kind of average this out. Move it into position on the side. Use this little red arrow. Move it. 
just poking out. Release. Select both the cube and the star. Click Align. Center. Center. Group. And there's another hole. Going good, guys. Work plane. Drop. That clears all of the work planes. Let's go ahead and create our last star. Control V. The star is again being naughty. Let's go ahead and move it out. Move it out right there. Right mouse click, drag to change your viewpoint. Now negative 90 degrees. Of course, you could also say this negative 90. Type it in, press enter, and it's perfectly there. Let's go ahead and move it back. So you can just see it. Move it here, and roughly in position, doesn't matter because we have the alignment tool. Align. Go like this. Perfect! It's in the center. And. Dun 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 dun. Group. Alright! We are done making. Oh, clear that work plane. We are done making our box. Perfect! And now to make sure that it exports properly, you might want to make this whole thing go down a bit. So let's go ahead. And then so you see this little marking on the right side? You want that to become zero. Perfect. All right, guys. So this concludes our intermediate video. Decorated box. Now you have your nice neck decorated box. It's up to you what you want to do with it next. See y'all next time.